Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I wanted to show you my rooftop tent setup and a couple tips and tricks. Just wanted to kind of go over real quick. I'll fold it out, show you how easy it is, especially if you're deciding on getting a rooftop tent. Um, step one, make sure your truck's level. For example, I just leveled it on some rocks. Um, you know, that way you're not, um, I guess, sleeping and losing blood in your head or whatever it might be. Make sure you're just level. Um, we'll make for a much smoother time. So um, level with something. Um, I don't have any kind of blocks or max tracks or anything. Those are definitely the best way to go, but um, rocks work. That way it gets your truck nice and level. So um, again, like I was saying, just make sure it's level. Uh, back up on the back here. Go ahead and pop this down. I have custom built bars, bed bars, from a rooftop tent. Um, they're actually custom welded and then they're just powder coated black. So these are pretty cool. Um, mine's a second gen Tacoma, so I actually custom, uh, I guess drilled these holes. And then this was for the uh, third gen Tacoma. And so those were already on there. I, when I bought them from a guy, he um, custom builds them. I can try and link his information down below. But uh, but yeah, he super nice guy, super good stuff. Got an amazing price on them. Um, they are steel bars, so they're decently heavy, but it actually adds a little bit of weight for my truck, especially in the winter, which I love. These are a little long, longer than I thought. I actually had to put new hardware on the entire tent um, because it's just kind of garbage what comes with it anyways so i had actually got new a new set of all this stuff anyways um new bolts new washers all that so all is well um you can see it's just on a track system pretty simple um on the sides of the bars which i love just don't have anything on them right now there's spots for accessories so high uh, high lift jack would probably go there Maybe a shovel on the other side, max tracks, things like that for off-roading and overlanding. So pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it's a really good setup. Uh, on top there is my Pope Overland Expedition tent. It's a technically a two-person tent. Um, super easy to fold out. It goes away nicely, has this nice cover. Uh, so it protects it from the elements. Uh, no worry about water or anything like that getting in there. It's all pretty sealed up. Um, I was gonna, what I was gonna say too is these are a couple inches up off the um, bed so I can still fit, you know, bikes over the tailgate, coolers, things like that. But if you look, it's not, you know, a couple inches up above the roof line, so you still get good gas mileage too, which is something to think about depending on if you care about that. This is my everyday driver, so gotta be careful with that. But a lot of people put them up on the top there, which isn't a bad idea, but um, it's just up to you. It's your personal preference, so. Another thing I added was this lock. So obviously the bed has these interesting little bolts that not too many people I'm sure are carrying around. You know, those little star bolts, things like that. So basically just uh, locked it onto the bed, custom uh, drilled, mounted a plate that fits this on there and then made sure it was weatherproof. So there's no gunk getting in there road grime, things like that. So not too shabby. Um, there it is, better look. But uh, I'm gonna set you guys down, hopefully in a little spot over here and uh, and pop open that roof tent and show you kind of what it's all about here, so. Okay, so not bad. Um, as you can see, this is opened up. It's a ladder at the base, opens up to the driver's side. Um, currently, I don't have any of the windows popped out, but that took me a total of maybe a minute or two, probably, to undo and unfold. So, very simple. All this comes down so it looks a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's got, Two windows on that side, two doors, and two skylights on top. 
and um, rain fly there. Just keep it all on there because I don't have a ton of storage space otherwise. But there it is. Go ahead and show you the inside. So as you can see, two skylights up above there, a couple windows, a door, a couple inch mattress, and then just the hard floor there. These things here basically suck the tent in when uh, in transport so it's not as poofy. So not too bad. Um, but yeah, if you're um, looking at getting one for overlanding, for just kind of off-road use, for camping with the kids, dog, um, highly recommend it. Pope Overland, check them out. They are awesome. Just down in Denver, Colorado, and this is an equivalent tent to a Tapui. Um, only thing you'll notice is a little bit different um, kind of coloring and, and materials slightly. Um, when I say slightly, I mean everything is very identical to a Tapui. Um, you know, very, very similar. But uh, but yeah, this tent is awesome. I've done a lot of camping in it, um, gotten some good time in it, and it has definitely done its job. So if you're looking at getting a rooftop tent, I highly recommend it. Um, just kind of wanted to sh throw up this video and show you how easy it is to put it up. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think if you want more videos on it, if you want more videos on my setup, um, and I would be happy to show that. But, um, but yeah, my overall review of the Pope Overland Expedition tent is it's a perfect, perfect tent for a little under a thousand dollars. Easy to set up, easy to use, good looking, uh, durable, and uh, overall just really, really good for the money. So check them out. Uh, I believe there's an Instagram uh, for Pope Overland. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.